so hi friends in this video we are going to learn about that how to use uh, SQL script in a shell script and how to run SQL plus command from the shell script so you can see on the screen that uh, I am having three files right so this one is log file dot log so all the data that comes after running this SQL script from the shell script is stored inside this log file okay and this is our shell script in which we are using SQL plus to run this SQL script okay so first of all let me show you that how it works okay we are simply executing this sample.sh so it will first ask us the username database username then the user password then enter the database string okay so here we will enter our instance name okay since we are running the query on the local machine so we don't have to mention any service name or other things enter full path of the SQL script okay so we know that the SQL script is in this same directory okay so for that we are using is this right and this has been done so now we can simply run, uh, cat this log file okay and you can see here that this is what the output is coming from the shell script okay after running the SQL script okay so this way it works so let me show you that when we do the cat inside the sample script it will come like this okay so first of all let me delete both of them and we will start from the scratch okay so first of all we need to touch or we can say create a shell script as well as the SQL script okay so you can uh, use touch command to do that then simply change the permission for the shell script as well as for SQL script okay done now you can see shell script and SQL script file has been created okay now first of all let me go inside this SQL script okay so for example we can simply set the line size okay 400 then uh, call so we will assign the column width okay host name for A20 call instance name for again A20 right that's it and here we will mention our SQL query right select host name instance name from V$ dollar instance right so this is you know okay so this is our simple shell script okay or uh, this is our SQL script SQL plus right so for exiting simply we can run exit command so this is all about the SQL script okay we are just want to execute this query so just save this file done then do the cat to the SQL you can see here it is there now coming to the shell script okay now coming back to the shell script we will edit it so first of all shebang bin bash right set hyphen e if any error happens then it will be terminate the command right right so this is done now import the variables variables okay from bash profile or profile file okay so you can do it manually as well for example exporting oracle home okay same likewise but I am not doing that I am simply importing the bash profile here right so we already have exported all the oracle environment variable inside this bash profile so we just importing this bash profile inside this shell script okay so whatever required it will take it right now first of all <coughs> prompt for username echo enter username okay 
then read the username now finally prompt for password okay then echo enter password read the password okay then prompt for what required uh, DB string right echo enter database connection string right read DB string or we can say DB only then prompt for SQL script right echo ask for enter full path of full path or say absolute path of SQL script read SQL script done so these are the required variables which we will use uh, inside the SQL plus SQL plus okay so simply use SQL plus utility and then mention the hyphen s hyphen s is mean only for the silent mode okay so run SQL plus in silent mode right now first of all we will use the username then hyphen then we will use password then at the rate then we will use the db string right and finally we will use the SQL script okay and we will store this to log file right uh, we need to mention the log file here log file okay so log file variable will be home oracle documents right then dot log right so this is what this will be the log file just copy it log file right and paste it we will delete this right done now we will execute this right so first of all we will execute this shell script it will ask for the username give the db username enter the password for the db user then mention the connection string which will be sakri then enter the full path or absolute path of the sql script so since uh, the sql script also in the same folder directory so we will mention dot slash sample dot sql it is done right we need to use the back tick okay again sample.sh give the username system enter the password enter the db string then enter the sql okay one minute sample.sh Oracle documents sample dot log right so this will be the log file for this right now we will let me show you we will execute this enter the username which will be system enter the password which will be key enter database connection string I am in I am inserting the instance name then insert the SQL script okay so it is in the same directory so we are using this then done right so you can see sample.log has been created now we will 
to add the content of this file right so you can see this is the output of the sample.sh okay so we have, in, uh, we have inserted some queries inside this sample.sql then we use sample.sh okay where we have uh, imported this sql then by using this we have executed the query okay and we are getting the output inside this sample.log okay so in this way we can use sqls right also let me use another one name.sql or say date dot sql right change the model so 7771 dot sql right then go inside this dead dot sql okay set lines to the 400 okay sql query select date or select sys date from dual right and exit so this will give us the time okay uh, date of the today's date right so we are having okay two sql script now we will again um, execute the shell script again system k uh, sakri then again same all right again we will do sample dot log and you can see here we are getting the new update right so in this way we can do it right and uh, one more we will create get scn sql change mod so on so on so on get scn sql right go inside this okay set line size to the 400 SQL query right select current SCM from V dollar instance right and then exit so this will give us the SC okay so we have to query the database instead of this right give the username password instance and get scm dot uh, sql done cat sample dot log okay so you can see here we are getting the current scm okay so this way guys we can do it right so this is all about how to create a shell script and use sql plus from the shell script and execute the uh, external sql scripts okay so this way guys we can uh, do it so let me again share you with what are the content of the okay content of bash profile right cat bash underscore profile so you can see here uh, this is the uh, file content of the bash profile okay so you can see oracle home base oracle sid everything is there right path okay so this is the so easy so you can do manually also but it is so little depend upon you so guys this will be 